Again, this is Venkat for Venkatvin.com. This video is a part of uh, BFSA Global.com. You can also see, read the news and the link in the description. Uh, let me introduce myself. This is Venkat. If you are looking for health insurance or pure term insurance or any other financial planning, message me any time of the day and ask me how much is the consulting fee. Uh, thank you so much for understanding that. This is Quant Dynamic Allocation Funds. A very simple review. A like will be very, very helpful. Just your like. Thank you so much for understanding that. See, let's say you are an investor who have a very low risk appetite and you usually invest in a bank, you know, fixed deposits. This kind of mutual fund uh, is, uh, is something that you have to seriously look into. Let us understand what the product is all about. Mutual fund investments are subject to market risk. Read all the scheme related documents carefully. Quants uh, current, you know, as of March uh, 2023, Quants, uh, uh, you know, uh, money under management is alone uh, 19,500 uh, crores and, uh, you know, they are fastly growing um, in India. So Quant dynamic, dynamic asset allocation fund uh, risk meter is high risk, uh, moderately high risk. They are, their benchmark is Crisil Hybrid 50, 50 moderate index. Okay, so they in they are they basically categorize themselves as a debt mutual fund, but this is you know uh, something wherein they have zero to hundred percent freedom in allocating either in debt or equity. So it's a it's an open ended uh, fund and inception date. The NFO is launched in March twenty twenty three. So inception date should be somewhere in March or April twenty twenty three. So the unique feature of this uh, scheme stems from its mandate to dynamically rebalance between zero to hundred percent between equity and debt. Sometimes, whenever the market is uh, doing really well, then they'll be, you know, increasing their equity exposure. And when they think that market is very volatile, they will increasing their exposure zero to hundred percent in debt instruments. So the benchmark is a uh, Crisil Hybrid Fifty Plus Fifty Moderate Index. And uh, difference, what is the difference between your traditional FD and other balanced advantage fund and the one offered by, uh, you know, Quant? So let us see the difference, basically. I'll just read out a couple of differences for you. If you see the current portfolio in a traditional balanced advantage fund, the equity exposure will be, you know, just to get the tax benefit, they will limit the equity exposure to 65% and the minimum debt exposure to 35%. But when it comes to uh, Quant Dynamic uh, Asset Allocation Fund, they have freedom to, uh, you know, increase the equity exposure more than 60%, up to 100% also, which means the opportunity of creating wealth for you is more in, when you're choosing uh, DAF. And of course, in traditional FD, you know, it is undisclosed where they are actually investing. Protection from volatility, of course, in uh, in traditional uh, balanced uh, advantage fund, the asset allocation band is narrow and offers relative lesser leeway for managing volatility. Um, so in Quant uh, DAP, what they're doing is they have uh, kind of a risk mitiga mitigation framework, which is more rigid. When it comes to traditional FDs, you have fixed rigid, you know, fixed returns, uh, as simple as that. Okay, there is another simple taxation uh, wise differentiation that you should understand. Um, in other balance balance advantage fund, uh, basically uh, you have uh, you know the equity ta taxation applies and debt taxation applies in this fund. You know, uh, twenty percent uh, long term capital gain. But uh, having said that, they have a very low you know no exit load at all. And when it comes to traditional FD, you have penalty for early withdrawal. And yes, this is what is, uh, you know, making uh, the balance uh, uh, advantage fund uh, and under a debt scheme, which is more interesting for a long term, you know, for for, a, for someone who's going to, you know, hold more than three plus years or, you know, the, they have a marginal tax differences. And for example, the bank FDs, basically, whether you are going to withdraw at, uh, for, you know, after one year or five years, it is going to be always 31.20% based on your uh, IT slab, you know, tax lab. But balance advantage fund does offer a kind of, uh, the other balance advantage fund does offer a kind of uh, equity scheme taxation like, you know, uh, for after uh, three years, if you are going to withdraw, it offers around some, somewhere around 10.16% tax uh, taxation. But this uh, uh, scheme, balance advantage fund, though it is taxed in the debt scheme, if you are going to hold it for more than five years, it is going to offer a marginal tax, uh, uh, you know, increase. But certainly, it is not that high 
uh, having uh, said that you are also getting uh, you know opportunity to create more wealth and of, co of course this uh, pyramid will help you understand how the assets are allocated they have a complete universe of uh, you know equity universe nifty 500 debt universe of bonds uh, gsec money markets everything and if you see a closer have a closer look at it you can see, you know, whenever there is a risk on environment, they will incre increase the equity exposure. Whenever there is a risk of environment, they have, uh, you know, they increase the debt exposure. And uh, this is how it works. For example, let's say uh, during a pandemic or, or when even the current situation, when the market is really volatile during the market, uh, you know, banking crisis in the US, when people are expecting recession, it will be like kind of a you no know, declining risk appetite and uh, declining liquidity. So they will have a risk of uh, risk of uh, strategy wherein uh, you know hundred percent will be exposed to uh, debt instruments. And when there is an opportunity, when the market is really doing very well, they will expose their uh, you know uh, in uh, equity uh, even up to hundred percent. So this is how their strategy work, and they have a very interesting framework called VLRT plus uh, Q square, which is quantifiable quality, uh, wherein they are quantifying the, the, the quality of the stocks. And of course, it, it's all, it, it all comes down to timing of the investment when the investment is done. Um, the fund managers, you know, Quant uh, basically always has multiple fund managers. They call them as money managers. That's the chief uh, investment officer uh, here as a founder of uh, Quant uh, with over uh, 27 years of experience. Uh, Ankit Pandey uh, with over nine years of experience and three years uh, in software products. Uh, Sanjeev Sarma uh, with over 18 years of experience and Mr. Vasav uh, Sakal, uh, CFA with, uh, he also, you know, uh, contributes in um, improved valuation analytics at Quant Mutual Fund. Uh, what I basically do is um, uh, create awareness about uh, pure term insurance. Uh, you know, there is a combination of term insurance, uh, you know, how about investing term insurance and also with a kind of mutual fund exposure that is a kind of a product uh, which, which we, about which we can discuss. Uh, what is the advantage in consulting with me? I will explain you the product benefits, whether it is a good investment for you, or what are the other alternatives we can speak about basic financial uh, health, uh, you know, that you are maintaining. I have a no spam policy. I don't have time to, you know, call you and disturb you. I request for a consulting fee. Hope you understand that. Message me any time of the day. Once again, I have to uh, request you to uh, have, you know, have time for a small like for this video, which will certainly help me. If you are inter interested in doing consulting with me, uh, please message me any time of the day and ask me how much is the consulting fee. Thank you so much for understanding.